Hi, in this video I'll show you how to work with the VHDL generation tool. First you can go to my repository here, my GitHub, which is mhamden91. Uh, then you can click on VHDL, CNN VHDL generator, get the link of the repository. If you have bash here, you can get clone and then the repository and then it will be cloned for you. Then you have this uh, executable and then you have to start with the platform selecting the platform and then selecting the model network model and then click on model uh, customize and build model now in, in here in this window you actually build your model so you can insert layers remove layers and build it customize it the way you want so I'm gonna use a pre-existing model here so this model has two convolutions, two pooling, one flattened, and two fully connected layers. So the first convolution has three feature maps, filter size of two, padding zero, stride of one, and activation function of three loop. Followed by a pooling, and the pooling has three feature maps. Why? Because we're passing the feature maps from the pool, the active uh, from the convolution. We're just applying max up, up max pooling operation on them. So that's why we pass them. Now for the flatten, the, this is always has to be one because we're not actually extracting any uh, feature maps. We're just stretching out the, imp the outputs from the uh, pooling layer, which let's assume that the image size of the pooling layer happens to be like two. So it's going to be two by two times the feature maps of the pooling five that amounts to 20. So we're going to have an input there of 20 in the flatten. And then that gets passed as the feature maps to the fully connected where we have here four extract then we have pre previous feature maps from the flat in 20 so that amounts to 80. so uh then you click on validate model entries so basically this validate model entries will validate your model based on the equations that are used to build uh cnn models it's not just um you check there for like correct entries it checks for correctness of configuration as well so once that you have this done you can save the model if you want if you have built your own model now you go to uh load weights and biases and then here you can load the weights and biases so i have here my biases and weights so you have to start when you you have when you create this file because you have to create it on your own you're going to get your weights from Keras, TensorFlow, or whatever, and then you have to convert it to a binary representation. So you start with specifying the layer name, and then, then the index of the layer is going to be one here. Filter's name doesn't really matter. It's not case sensitive. And then you specify the weights and then the biases, and then you have to determine it with a dollar sign. So we have three because I specified three there. Uh, and those are the incoming. Okay, and then the second convolution, and then because we did the, the image size, the image type is grayscale, that's why it's, so we extract the three for input of, has the one feature map, which is the grayscale. And then the second convolution here, we have 15, because we're extracting five, and the previous feature maps are three, so it amounts to 15 and so forth. Flatten and pooling don't have any parameters. So that's why it's empty. And then you do the fully connected layer here, which I said explained earlier as 80. And then the last uh, uh, fully connected here has, uh, so we're extracting five and the previous is four, so it's 20 feature maps. So, yep, that's it. So you come in here and then you load what, let me see. So this will validate We'll check if it matches your configuration file. If it doesn't match, it's not going to work. See here, like the, the weight size is five it, here. Like the weight size here, if okay. So the weight, width of the weight size or the weight size here is five and the pooling size is, is two. So that's why you have this matter. So you have to specify this to match whatever uh, precision you have for the weights and biases. And I'm choosing a desired precision of five, which means full precision. Now you can generate your VHDL files and it tells you where it generates them. And then if you want to test bench. And then we can close the tool. 
if you had any issues here, you can close the tool, reopen it, and try again with whatever file, like vices and weights files you have. Now let's go to the generated file. So time is 2.35 and this is 2.35. So we have the model right here. So I'm gonna actually test this in model sim to see if it is correctly uh, configured. So, so let's add these. Nope, let's add, okay. Nope, this is not what I want. This is what I want. We select all the layers. Okay, come on. All right. And then I'm just going to compile it to see if we have them right. So we don't have any syntax error with the files. They're supposed to work correctly. And even the logical, uh, logically should be correct. So this is done right here in a thing. This is all about it. I hope this explained how to work with the tool thoroughly. And uh, if you have any questions, let, let me know. And um, you can post it on YouTube or GitHub. Um, and finally, if you use this work, please cite our paper, which is going to be posted on our GitHub and uh, YouTube. Thank you.